Hi, I'm Mark from eReplacementParts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the tine holders on your Troy Built Super Bronco Garden Tiller. We'll get started by removing the shear bolt that connects the tine assembly to the tine shaft. Now we can remove the tines from the tine holder. You can use a couple of wrenches to do this. If you use wrenches, it helps to clamp this assembly in a vise so it doesn't move around while you're trying to remove each tine. This is one place though where if you have a small impact driver, it'll make it much easier to remove all these nuts and bolts. I've added an extension and now I'll remove the tines on the other side of the tine holder. Now we can go ahead and install our new tine holder. You'll notice that the hole for the shear bolt on the tine holder is offset to one side, and that side is the inside portion of the tine holder. The tines themselves should bend towards the inside of the tiller. So what I'm going to do now is just lay out all of the tines on the tine holder, and then I'll loosely bolt them together with the nuts and bolts. Now I'll go ahead and tighten up the hardware. And now I just repeat that same process on the other half. And again I'll tighten up the hardware. And I'll finish up by placing our tine and tine holder assembly back onto the tiller and securing it with the shear bolt. And that's how easy it is to replace the tine holders on your Troy Built Super Bronco Garden Tiller. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.